LPIC 2 certification is really cool for me because it means that if you're taking this course and you're interested in this certification, you are somebody who loves Linux like I do. Now the LPIC 2 course that we're looking at right now is the 201 exam course. In order to get certified for LPIC 2 from the Linux Professional Institute, you have to take exam 201 and exam 202. Now it's split up into two exams. You don't have to take them at the same time. And I kind of recommend that you go through this course and take exam 201 and then go through the next course and prepare for exam 202. Now what's really cool about LPIC 2 is it really goes beyond learning how to use Linux, right? The assumption is that you know how to use Linux. You've gotten the LPIC 1 certification or at least completed the LPIC 1 course and now you want to learn how to get in the trenches and do the nitty gritty work and troubleshoot and set up more complex systems and really use Linux hardcore, right? You need to be, at the end of this course, that person that's available for other Linux people to ask questions because we're really going to get into the nitty gritty of how Linux works. I'm excited for this course. I'm excited for you because you are interested enough in Linux that you either want to get LPIC2 certified or you at least want to learn the skills required to be a really good system administrator in the Linux world. This is gonna be a really fun course. We're gonna learn how to do a lot of things. I urge you to follow along with me, set up your own VM so that you can do experimenting and do more than we do in the course nuggets, right? We're gonna get started and then your job is to experiment because that's what makes a good troubleshooter and a good system administrator. Somebody who can get down and dirty in the virtual machines, in the computers and figure things out, all right? So I'm excited. Let's get down to business and start this LPIC2 course.